So today I'm gonna show you how you guys can generate the cinematic videos of yourself in different environments, in different settings and this is all from a single input image. And this is all possible because of the newest model called Flux Pulet that allows you to generate the consistent characters without even training a separate LoRa model. So I'm very excited, let's dive in. Alright, so first of all, let's take a look on the Flex Pulet. So this is their GitHub repository. And if I scroll down, you can find this code. And if you want to install this locally, it all depends on you. But don't worry, I'm going to show you the online free method to use this. And you don't require any GPU for that. So if I scroll down, you can see uh, these are some of the methods. You can use this on a hugging phase. We have the replicate options. I'm going to show you all of these features later on. But first of all, let's see what this model is capable of. So first of all, if you want to use the Gradio demo, you have that option right now. And these are some of the requirements if you want to install this locally. So here are some of the example images. So they used a single selfie image and now you can see they have generated the multiple images of that person in different styles. So this is the realistic style. You can also see a Lego girl style. Then we have the futuristic style and the most interesting thing that you can also generate the baby version of yourself. So now you get the idea what this model is capable of. Now let's see how to access this model. So there are two ways to use this model online. So first of all, you can use this on a replicate. So this is the replicate version, but to use this on a replicate, you have to pay around five cents per generation. That I think is very cost efficient and cheap, but we have one more replicate page where you can use this for around 0.003, which is not even a cent. So it all depends on you if you want to use this on a replicate, but we're going to use this on a hugging face, which is completely free, but we have some daily limits here. So first of all, we need any input image. And for that, I'll be using the ideogram because I think this is one of the most realistic model. So I'll be using a simple prompt, a woman taking a selfie and let's select the realistic style and hit generate. All right. So here are the output images from the ideogram and look at this man, how realistic these are. These are a couple of more images and you can see the realism on the ideogram images and these are a couple of more images that i generated before this video and look at this man this is amazing and to be honest ideogram is my most favorite image generation model for the realistic images and i always recommend this model instead of a mid journey because this is free and one feature that i wish from the ideogram is the consistent character feature so if, if they are watching this video please introduce your consistent character feature and believe me if they release this feature there will be endless possibilities that you can't even imagine but let's get back to our topic and we'll be using this image as our reference image so just get back to the github page and upload your image so i'll be using this prompt a cinematic movie still of a woman standing alone in a dimly lit rain soaked street at night with dramatic lighting casting shadows across her face and raindrops glistening in the air and yeah this is ai generated prompt so next we have some settings we have the id weight then we can also control the aspect ratios then we have the number of steps which is maximum 20 and then we have the most important option that is the guidance scale so by default this will be around 4 so make sure to keep it around 2.5 or 2.6 because i have already explained this thing in one of my flex videos so now hit generate and let's see what it comes up with all right so this is the output image and look at that Look at the cinematic look at the realism in this one. This is amazing. So if I zoom it in, you can see the skin textures are also there. I'm not saying this is the most realistic, but look at that. This is a really good image. So here is the before, here is the after. And you can notice the facial features are also matching the hair color, hairstyle, each and everything is matching with our input image. So here is a one more image where she is holding a glass of wine and surprisingly the hands are correct in this image. And uh, these are a couple of more images where she is wearing sunglasses and standing in a street and here she is reading a newspaper and in this one she is holding a gun. So one thing that you will notice in all of these images that we have very cinematic look to it. And this is all possible because of this prompt, a cinematic movie still. So make sure to add these words in the beginning of your prompt and then use Dimulit. This adds that cold tones in images that make it look more engaging. And one more thing, if you want to upscale your images, you want to add some more details in your images. Let's say I want to add more details in this image. Here we have a one more hugging face space, which is totally free. You can just upload your image and then you can select the upscaling factor. So let's keep it around 1.5 and hit submit. All right, so here is the output image. 
and you can see we have some more details to the face it added some kind of freckles to the face but it only affects the face sometime it mess up with the face so this is kind of a hit or miss but this is free and additionally you can use this to add more details so once you have your images you can use any of the AI video generation tool you can use the Kling AI, Vidu AI, Luma AI I prefer Kling AI and we will be using its image to video feature and just upload your image now let's give it any prompt a woman smiling and looking into the camera then you can also select the model you can use the Kling 1.5 or Kling 1.0 it depends on you and hit generate well I don't know why Kling AI is taking so much time so I tried to generate this same video inside of the Luma AI and you can see we have a very subtle movements very good motion and it looks very natural and here is the one more video where she is reading a newspaper and uh, this one is also really good and I tried the same video inside of the Vidu AI and uh, Vidu AI tries to add some more motion in it and uh, tries to make it you know very engaging and exciting but in the same way it changes the face a little bit so we have multiple options you can also try the minimax it all depends on you this was just to give you the basic idea how this process works so the main thing was creating the consistent characters with the flux pulid and I think the flux pulid works really really well so that's it from today I hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you guys did do give it a thumbs up and i'll see you in the next one